Hey, what is up guys, and welcome back to some more Fallout 4. So for those of you who don't know, the vault Tech DLC just released, and surprisingly, I was also unaware of this, but it's actually got a little bit of story to go along with it, which is definitely a nice surprise, because that was always something I wished the other Workshop DLCs had as well. But like all of the others, such as Far Harbor and Automatron, I'm pretty sure we get this one through the radio. This is an emergency broadcast signal from Vault 88. Authentication code word, Impish. Vault 88 emergency classification. Unspecified integrity breach warning. Any available Vault Tech personnel are required to respond under Emergency Protocol VT-76. This signal will repeat. Yeah, I could be wrong, but I think I saw something a while ago that showed a Vault 88 being somewhere near Quincy. And apparently that is the case. I'm not sure about you guys, but personally, I'd rather have them leave any building type stuff out of, you know, whatever missions we're doing right now. And that might sound a little weird coming from a guy who does settlement builds but for some reason I just always have hated when they try to integrate that stuff into any type of story or mission because there was the one towards the uh, I think it was one of the last missions for the base game and then all that memory stuff for Dima during Far Harbor I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I absolutely hated that, so I'm hoping, even though this is a more workshop-focused DLC, I'd rather them leave all that crap out of here. And if possible, just maybe leave it for after we beat these missions? But I guess we will just have to wait and see, won't we? You know, I'm not sure if the vault's in that little quarry... Or somewhere around back. With our luck, it's probably right inside there. Which I'm sure is either full of gunners or raiders. And who knows what else is out here. Because we are just about as far south as you can get. Yeah, I can't remember. Does our... Oh, it doesn't. I was hoping this still had a suppressor on it, but... Apparently I ripped it off. Yeah, I'm not expecting these guys to have too much, but we might as well check them. Okay, sounds like one's down there. Hopefully dog meat can take care of him. And then we'll go for whoever the hell this guy is. How much you got left in you? There we go. Oh, there's actually quite a few more back here, aren't there? Guess they're down low. Yeah, this has got to be one of my favorite shotguns. And I usually like the combat ones that have more ammo. But the good thing about our double barrel is that it shoots double their projectiles. So I'm sure you can see how that would be helpful. Alright, so we'll grab some ammo... I guess kill the rest of these guys around here. Pretty sure there shouldn't be too many left. Man, it almost sounds like dog meat might be getting the best of them. Or vice versa. Man, they just keep coming and coming, don't they? Unless all these guys were... 
already out here before, but I don't think that's the case. Okay, yeah, those are reinforcements for sure. Because now there's three more down there. So they must be pouring out of the vault, huh? That's gotta be what's going on. Speaking of that vault, is that somewhere down here? Oh yeah, it looks like right around the corner somewhere. In the midst of all this radiation, I'm guessing. Yep, there we go. talking to us or the raiders oh no it must be the raiders this is gonna be fun ain't nothing whoever you are stop i'm almost certain that voice has got to be one of the vault dwellers though or possibly the overseer either way hopefully we're about to find out I don't know if we should help him just yet. It's been hard to maintain the faith. So many years stranded here. But you can assure Dr. Braun, if he's even still around, that I have used the time productively. The great work is ready to begin. See, what does she mean by maintain the faith? She's not children of Adam, is she? Because if that's the case, like I said, I'm not too keen on helping her out. Alright, you know what? Surprisingly, everyone down here is a lot tougher than they were on the outside. Not that that's a bad thing, but maybe we should have packed along some extra firepower. Okay, they don't have much, so we will head to wherever that marker is. Yeah, the door's got to be on the other side somewhere. Probably down here.
All right, so we got that down. Now we need a control board, apparently. Good. Very good. vault Tech workshops require their control board to function. During emergencies, the procedure is to store it in the reactor room. Look in there and you should find it. Okay, looks like that might be on this level. I was thinking it would be downstairs somewhere, but apparently not. Okay, that might not be good. Nothing a plasma grenade can't solve, though. That's enhanced boxing glove. Not the best in the world, but might be a cool little antique. Oh, and did he have something else we needed? Yeah, here it is. The board. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure if we need anything in this room, but We'll check around for ammo and whatnot. Although then again, why would that be inside the vault? Let's just get out of here. Alright, so apparently we do have to build. Or destroy, I should say. You know, another thing I'm worried about when it comes to this is if there's going to be any sort of non-compatibility with mods I'm using. Let's just hope there isn't. Hey. You aren't what I was expecting. You do have a pit boy You're from a vault. But you're clearly not with vault -Tec. What are you doing here? Why did you help me? There was some kind of radio beacon, and the fact that raiders were at your door. I think that pretty much sums it up. I heard the vault radio beacon, and I came. Those intruders must have triggered it by attempting to force the main door. I wasn't actually expecting anyone to answer it. After all this time, my name is Valerie Barstow, and I was to be the overseer of this vault. But please, follow me. I have a proposal for you. It's been a hard 200 years. I was giving a tour of what was to be my pride and joy. My vault. Then, the earthquakes. Sirens. Many died. Perhaps they were lucky. The radiation. Somehow, I was spared. Julian, <coughs> what is it? Sorry, he's not much of a... Stop, Julian. What are you doing? Yeah, I mean, I know they're Julian, her former residents, but... The There's really not much else we can do, is there? They've never done towards me, though. It's probably best if you put them out of their misery. As you can see, that's already been done. Oh, never mind. It's better. There's more. Yeah, I almost feel a little bit bad, but then again, I'm pretty sure if we don't kill them, they'll do something much worse to us. No question about that. Yeah, hang on. I'm just about done. Let's see if we can just take this guy out with one headshot. Well, at least that's over. Let's continue. <clears throat> what a momentous day. But there was simply too much rubble for the equipment to handle. But my work kept me going. Here, among these papers, is my life's work. I'd like to share it with you. 
Dr. Braun tasked me with something vital. A series of prototypes and their related, well, experiments that could redefine society. But, as you can see, things did not go according to plan. Yeah, I can see that. What were those experiments you were talking about, though? What are these experiments? Ingenious devices that will improve the efficiency and health of a community. They are admittedly prototypes and may have a design flaw or two, but nothing that can't be fixed with some elbow grease. And who is Dr. Braun? He wasn't one of those ghouls I just killed, was he? You mentioned Dr. Braun? Who is he? Dr. Braun is the head of the Societal Preservation Plan. A brilliant scientist and administrator. And, no doubt, dead. A tremendous loss. Sounds rough. Sounds like you've had a pretty tough time. I've had many dark days down here. Even despair. But the work, always the work, sustained me. This vault was meant to be spacious, full of trained staff, trusted subordinates and scientists. Despite how things have played out, I see opportunity. Let us work together, as partners. Okay. You should know, though, I don't always work for free. If you need me so bad, make it worth my while. I'm not looking for a hired gun. I'm looking for a partner. Either you see the value in this enterprise, or you don't. No, no, I get it. I was just thinking the wrong type of partner. That being said, what exactly is my role? What's my role? I recognize that you are in a superior bargaining position. I'll handle the mundane nuts and bolts of vault management. Anything you want, I'm happy to accommodate. All I ask is you run the prototype experiments. Okay, that doesn't sound that bad. Let's do this, then. Good. Excellent. We cannot begin until I have my overseer's desk to run the experiments. The information in the desk's terminal will prove vital. I entrust you with the future of our vault. Vault 88.